I'm in libraries and classrooms every week, and there was one 13-year-old girl, she was in our learning experience in, with the International Space Station, and she took off uh, the virtual reality headset afterwards and yelled out to her uh, classmates, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. What it's doing is it's uh, actually changing the way that um, people are learning. By this immersion and presence, you're able to experience things in virtual reality that would be impossible to experience on the Not only has the technology got better, uh, but now it's being used in multiple industries. So certainly the focus is on education in libraries and schools, uh, but it's really uh, taking off in all industries. What's happening is uh, now that it's going into these public libraries and school libraries, university libraries, um, it's not just typical students that are benefiting from all the benefits of learning in virtual reality, learning in 3D, uh, but it's also special needs students. We are also helping close the digital divide, Not we don't want to widen the digital divide. We need to make this as publicly available to students as possible. Through support from the Nevada State Library Archives and Public Records through LFTA grants, we've been able to do many different things in this library specifically. And the legislature actually approved funding for emerging technologies this last biennium. And that's what we're looking at here is applying for a grant to be able to do that. And so these grants will allow us to bring this emerging technology into the library and into the hands of all of our patrons. A setup that might run many thousands of dollars. It's going to be too much for most of the community to buy just to dabble and experiment. But if we don't get the chance to dabble and experiment with it, a terrible thing happens. We don't do anything new. We don't learn anything new. We don't develop these new skills, these new literacies that we need to be able to operate in, in tomorrow's world. It really gives um, this whole program a model that's replicable, and hopefully it'll get way better. One of the things they're going to do here is they'll, they'll have a little more upfront time to look at evaluation to see what's working and what didn't work and what kind of outcomes we have in learning, which is really what we're doing it for. Fundamentally, libraries are supported through taxpayer dollars, and that is such an important reminder because it is an asset that by supporting it through taxpayer dollars, um, we all own and we all take place in it and we all have access to it. And it isn't advancing an agenda that is tied to private interest. It's advancing the agenda of the people.